We're sitting right here in the season. 14 days. 14 days to decide the rest of our year. It can go really badly or really well. a playoff by Cloud9 Ooh. or COG. This is the hot topic right now. You, buddy. Tied up. All What's right. it going to be? No, I actually, uh, I'm, I'm full up on the COG hype train now. They just beat Cloud9 uh -huh. with the full roster of Cloud9. Yeah. I mean, maybe Lakers doesn't stream very much, but I'm assuming they were strong enough. Um, COG, they're, they're the real deal now. Uh, that's, that's just how I feel about them. They're a very good team. Oh, hey, guys. And have our weekly kickoff meeting. Join us, please. Good job this weekend. All the problems from the previous week did not show up, and that that wasn't a mistake, that that was something that we talked about and that we tried to fix, and then fixed on stage. So always good to see that. Okay, last week, precision. I think that it was decent. I wanna look at the Baron call with you guys, see what you think about that now that we have comms and like we have retrospection. Um, team fighting with flankers, we didn't draft any, thank goodness. So I'm pretty terrified of clutch, to be honest. They don't seem to ban following any sort of rules in the meta. So it's basically impossible to prepare for their draft. And so when you don't have predictable bans, uh, we could literally be playing any possible meta against clutch. They could ban out three random champs and create a completely different meta just for that best of one. So just, that's hard. Echo Fox is also worrying, obviously. It's just the, always the case that when you have somebody who has nothing to lose and everything to gain, that they can play in ways that are very difficult to cope with, especially when you have a team like us that's playing not to lose. Like, pretty sure the expected outcome of those games is that CLG wins, and so we have to make sure we don't play not to lose. Comms and decisions and checklists around Baron. Let's just make sure we're always working on the fundamentals of Baron. It's never bad to make sure that we can take this cleanly. So how can we as a team do this if we don't have a strong level one? Every time the enemy jungle would show, he would, uh, he would look at the CS of the jungle and be like, oh, he didn't clear his top side, do you want to invade? He'd like ask Infos. And I was like, wow, that's actually, like they do it every single time. So the averages are Wiggly is communicating around 10,000 words per game on average. Oh, that was Trevor's. A yeah, this is just so this game. This is our average years. total. Look, you normally are doing uh, 6,600. Trevor's 7K. Uh, Tristan, you're around the same as Trevor now. I interrupted you 135 times. You interrupted me 120 times. What does this mean? Like, what else does this speak? Vincent Something interrupted you 237 times. <laughs> Something in the algorithm yeah, must be wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Wiggly around 10. Everybody else around 7. And then Min, obviously, like around half that. Because so top lane and second language. So his sentences are shorter also, yeah, by like, the way. Yeah. Uh, I feel like Min got to NA after coming off of Worlds, and he just like, it was so boring for him that he just like AFK'd. And I'm pretty sure that when NA wakes him up, he's, and he goes back into Worlds form, it's going to be uh, hilarious to watch. I think our success over the next two week, weeks hinges a lot on you guys. It's a very bot-focused game right now, and determining the, what the meta is and if we can get ahead of the curve and knowledge of what's good. Focus a lot of effort on this, maybe a lot of solo duo queue together, and a lot of theory crafting and talking to your teammates and experimentation. Honestly, with a new patch, the only focus for training is trying to figure out the meta as fast as possible. That's it. That just means there's a lot of meta shifts, and especially for bot lane, I think the teams that can adapt and figure out pick and ban the fastest are going to have a really good time. Pretty much the whole first week of a new patch is you're just spam playing different lanes over and over every scrim. Well, it's a lot of theory crafting on like what you think can be good, and you have to rely on your experience over like multiple, multiple patches of like what people play into certain things and what have been historically the best blinds. Hopefully by the end of the week we'll have uh, stuff figured out, but yeah. All right, off-season preliminary plans. If we do make playoffs, obviously we're gonna be scrimming. And then if we're going to go to Worlds, we'll have a boot camp. Otherwise, the break will continue. 
We have a yoga day, a general fitness day, and a variety day, and then we have gym trainer for the other days. So you'll have like a, an actual physical trainer working one-on-one -on -one with you in the gym. We're all gonna get incredibly ripped. My biggest motivation is the fact that if we can follow the next two weeks, then it's pretty likely that we get a buy to the semifinals for playoffs. So for me, that's my main motivation, and I haven't made playoffs in a while, so it's just like I should try as hard as I can. Goals that players have and what goals the fans think that the players should have are usually very different. Every player's ambition and goal and the thing that they're working for is usually to win the first place and then to win the first place. There is no other goal. Our goal's always been first place, even when we were 10th last split. But who cares if you make playoffs if you can't win? Definitely it would not be great if we lost to Echo Fox or um, clutch because we're expected to win. Yeah, I guess. Actually, the pressure's just on for us, more so than them, because they have nothing to lose. Where We're <clears throat> tied for second right now, and it's really, really important that we win our next four games. No fun today. Yeah. No fun, no fun. No fun. It's a what? I want to see Silas. So for spiders, we set the Yeah, yeah. They just forgot in your eyes. Oh my god. What? Oh my god. 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 Here we are at the beginning of another weekend. Again, we have been off stage for five games, and I want to make sure that we recommit to the basic fundamentals that we have to cover to make sure that we have a good early game on stage. Try to visualize what it's like to do that on stage, what your role is in the team. Just remember, like, all the stuff we do well, like, once we don't give them nine kills after the game, you know, so all the, like, basic stuff that we know how to do, just make sure we remember to, like, do that. Longer, which is, like, so Start reminding yourself, to go through the checklist, what am I worried about, uh, how am I going to bring that focus for the first three minutes of the game. Um, yeah, just do what we do every weekend, the last three or four weeks, it's been really great. Yes. CLG on three. One, two, three. CLG! Welcome back, thank you for joining us, it's the final game of the day, Counter Logic Gaming versus Clutch Gaming. Looks like that is where they're trying to get control because Dragon is up. They need to get that mid lane. And now it's a ruin and a bio for us. Big damage there yet again. Is that going to find the pop loss? Mana two. Big damage though, and it's going to be ruined. Dropping one for zero so far. The ruin on Alira means big damage though, but eaten up by Vulcan means he is safe from the rest of that damage from Wiggly. At about three health right there, just walks away by the skin of his kid. It's chinny chin chin. A lot of into this. They're trying to go towards the Baron. Power will TP back. They want to start this up with the Monte still dead. They have 20 seconds in this 5v4. And it looks like Lyra's Flash is over, but I think it's maybe too late. Looney can scout it out, find some health on the Baron. Lyra is around here, several to build some space as well. Will they go for the fight? Yes, they will, but here comes the rest of the squad. PoE wants by the 5v4. They get some damage across, but not any kills. Kind of logic gaming. Running out of HP, but they find Hooney. They get some damage. The snipe blocked by the clone, but they still have the auto attacks down. Nice pick up there by Ruin. Finally on the board. 5 to 2, the score line as CLG have finally picked up two straggling kills, but they do not get the Baron. But do you want to look to G's to Baron to man right now? You can try, you can try. Yeah, yeah. Uh, or do you take too much damage? I can't take it up. I I can hit over the wall as well. I can hit over the wall. can chill me. If Karma can chill me. Don't hit the plant. Don't hit the plant. I know. I know. I know. Karma. Yo, I can hit over the wall too, guys. Okay. Yeah. I'm just tipping me. I'm just. Don't. Don't go. Don't. Don't go. I can tank. Don't. Don't go. Don't make it obvious. Don't make it obvious. Don't run there. Don't run there, please. Yeah. I shoot your Kathleen. I shoot your Kathleen. Yeah. Are we finishing this? Yo, get out after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get out after. Get out after. I'm a f***ing smash. Good job, guys. Good job. Good job. Holy Yo, I'm gonna push mid then base. I have TP. I'm zoning the jump, guys. I'm getting low. I'm getting low. I'm gonna trap. Just wait. Just wait. Slow, slow, slow. I have to queue up. Can someone not go on the Nico? Can we stay in the Baron? Look yeah, at that. Nico. Okay, man, man, I have to flash. Nico first. Nico, Nico. first. I'm okay. Shield in too. Shield in too. Yo, play together. Look at the base. We can go. We can go. Yeah, I'm watching. Okay. They're base. They're base. Yeah. Look, look, look. Nico, Nico, Nico. Yo, traps. 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 I go, go, go. Go, go, go. Go, go. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go I TP bot, I TP bot. You've only one, you've only one. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I TP, I TP too. Shield it too, shield it. Yeah, just shoot me, shoot me, shoot me, shoot me. I can shoot, I can shoot. Yeah, just go, just go, just go. I have QSS, I have QSS. Guys, wave in. Push the wave in, push the wave in. Sivir can wave there, I'm gonna go on Sivir. I don't have shield, I don't have shield. I shield you, I shield you. I'm going Sivir. I'm just, I'm just damage chatting. Guys, 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 guys. No, kill Sky, kill Sky, kill Sky. I can shield you, I can shield you. Kill Fosh. We can kill you. Okay, that's all you guys. I'm gonna end, I'm gonna end. Can you guys tank? I'm gonna end. Oh, he's too good. Oh, oh yes, yeah, this guy's a smurf. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I got carried. Nice. Very impressive stuff from them. 
you know, looking really good down the stretch. You know, there was so much talk, you know, especially towards the beginning of the split of, of the, the power three, right? TSM, Cloud9, TL, that's who everyone was looking at. CLG is sitting in second. Watching this wonderful surge of this performance that you have all had. So to the fans, should the CLG fans be confident in your team? Well, out of experience, every time people believe in us, we don't do that good, so just stop us, guys. Fortnite just casually has over a million viewers. Oh, he okay. won. Did he win? Wait, so much? So, so does he fight. get three million dollars yet? <laughs> no, my question is. Really yeah, I don't care about anything else. Is he getting three million dollars or what? <laughs> they don't surprise me. Vincent be like. So he's had a top three and a first and like a top fifteen. Mm -hmm. Like, so he's doing really well. Okay, calm down. <laughs> <laughs> I was watching that. And I was like, wow. What? <laughs> Calm what? down. Ooh. Ooh. Wait, Rux is fifth. Let's go, Rux. Bug hop. Look, Rux, Rux is a sleek player, right? Yeah. yeah. Rux is sweet. Is I read. Can you see it? Can you tie it down? so good. Legends. Wrong gun's flip. Which it's actually really important that we're first or second because TL is 100% going to be first or second. So if we're not, we're going to face them earlier before finals. So we want to be first or second so that we don't face tail before finals. Ah! Uh, someone hit it! I'm catching it. Oh! That would have been insane. I'm grateful that I found my earbuds. I thought I lost them. Grateful that I had this shirt today to wear so I didn't have to figure out an outfit. Grateful that TFSN lost today. That we're in sole possession of second. Make sure that you take a, like uh, take in your surroundings when you get on the stage. Like use the energy of the atmosphere to hype yourself up and take a, take some really deep breaths when you get in your chair. Get get really focused. Make sure we come in those first few minutes incredibly strong, competitive mindset. It should be like you're playing uh, like a BO5 on stage versus TL, right? That kind of mindset. So really sharp, really clear. CLG on three. One, two, three. CLG. Hello and welcome back for our next match of the day. That is Counter Logic Gaming versus Echo Fox. Now it's up to two. But look out! Oh, oh and he didn't even get turret aggro. Standard stop. You're right, he didn't. This is going to be a pretty quick one. If Ruin can get himself the safety one last shot, it's not going to be enough on the heat up. And that's first blood going over to Wiggly. Well, two out of 16 first bloods for Echo Fox, but CLG again oh, with a oh. smart move up there. Mike trying to come up and counter, but he is all alone. Perfect communication. Teleport. Meal hook shot to him. That's going to be a quick kill. We've got to watch out for the spiders. That's a good repel up. Flash. Now they've got Lorlo back. If he can find his pace to get a sweet spot on, they definitely got to kill on to Ruin. Tactical sweep back. Oh, nice Ruin actually stopped himself there. Maybe the Flash would have brought him in range, but the tactical sweep keeps him in range. Oh, no. Oh, we see Elise. How yeah. much stay? Lucian can move after this wave. They're yeah. they're here, here. Guys, they're clapped tight. We need come? to go on Lucian. We need to go on Lucian here. Okay, okay, I'll watch, I'll watch, watch. Yeah. Oh, they list, it's only one man. It's only, they, they can't, they can't. Yeah, yeah Lucian, Lucian, Lucian. Lucian. Yo, they got, get Lucian, get Lucian. Nice job, guys. Well, can kill this guy? Is he a flash? I can't go, I can't go. Yes, no flash, yes, no flash. Good job. Uh, oh, my God. Okay, okay, okay. Man, okay. Man, okay. Just push mid and get packed. He can get himself into the fight, slow people, and get a lockdown on that soul shackle. Hit confirmed. There's the tidal wave going out. Biofrost goes into the stopwatch. Looks like he's going to come down for Mike Young and Lorlo onto the back line. One more sweet spot gets Biofrost. And now he's facing three members. They have to be able to pincer CLG here. The turnaround is from Wigley, but the team can't follow. His ruin stuck in the infernal chains. And now they both reconsider the fight as the TP comes to the bot lane from Power of Evil. Well, ruin wants to keep going. There's the challenge, and it's going to be onto Apollo. Can't do much to block that with a black shield. You're still going to be in the ring for the fight. And Ruin picks up his third kill of the game. Fourth kill, sorry. We're going to push mid. Can you uh, not that push okay, that fast? Careful bot, careful, careful bot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm I'm back up, they're, they're, all they're all going bot. They're all going bot. Oh. We need help mid, maybe? We can't, we can't. No, no, no. We're just gonna get it. Oh, oh, look here, look here. We can't, we, we can't, can't help you. We can't help you. It's can't just 1v4. Okay. Oh my it's god. It's all you, man. Yo, we're gonna push mid. What the f? Keep saying, bro. Keep pushing up. We keep pushing, we keep pushing, we keep pushing. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna keep pushing. I don't have flash. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Focus, focus. Just watch what, watch what, watch what. You're 1v1, okay. you're 1v1 right now? They're, they're hovering, they're running now? You're 1v1, no, you're 1v1. You're 1v1. You're 1v1. You're 1v1. You're 1v1. He's got it, he's got it. Just hold mid, just hold mid. I'm coming, I'm coming mid. We can fight, we can fight. Slowly, slowly, guys. You can just go, Trevor. You can go. Slowly, slowly. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm, gonna, yeah, I'm looking. Let's go, yeah, let's go. I'm going to see you. I'm, gonna... I'm looking, Pike. Go, Elise, 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 Elise. I'm going to ulti Elise. Uh, I can't go anymore. Oh, I'll, 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 I'll buy Baron. Yeah, Baron. They're down on set. They're down on I'm no smite for 35. Guys, guys, guys. I will plank again. Pike mid lane. I'm going to ulti Lucian. Pike mid lane. Pike mid lane. Yeah, we're good. We're good. We got tower. We got tower. Guys, watch top lane. Can you guys pressure? Pressure. Pressure. No, we're going to pressure mid. Yo, you can take top by yourself. Yo, care about it. We got mid. We're getting mid. Care more. Care more. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm getting into it. I'm getting any beat the top. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Can't kill at least. Oh, I can kill. I'm going to get him. What? Get at least. <laughs> Yo, pop, 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 pop. We can end, what we can the but, yeah, yeah, Listen, yeah. listen. I can ulti, okay. I can with this dive. I think we should dive. Okay. Sure, try. They fight. Watch Pike, watch Pike. I'm gonna just hit, I'm gonna hit. Morg? <laughs> 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 oh. Yo, I want some damage test. Go him, go him, go him, go him. Go him. Good job. Good Tristan is damage test, man. Good job. <laughs> what do you mean? Bro, man, why am I playing against Lucian? <laughs> I feel bad about the um, kind of baiting mid. I think I, I could have, we could have won that, but I kind of chickened out because we weren't like sure. Like yeah. he didn't want to go, and then I'm like, oh, like should we not go? And then I was like backing out, and then I think if I tanked, like we could have still won. We didn't get playoffs. Like everyone would be like full mode, like depression. So I think <laughs> everyone was kind of like, yeah, we're probably gonna make playoffs. It was just like whether or not we're gonna get the buy. Now it's like more likely to get the buy. So pretty happy about that. How do you feel, Vincent? Uh, it's nice, I suppose. I don't have anything else to say. The what about is, like you can make playoffs? Years. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's been two years, oh. but you can make playoffs. Way people think. But you can like. If you don't make it far, like doesn't matter anyway. Like no one cares if you get far, right? So we have a good chance. I feel like we have a good chance. I felt really good about watching the LCS team, mainly because I know the work and effort that people put behind making the LCS team succeed. I'm really, I'm really happy for Rune that he was able to finally have a pop-off game because it's like a top laner. I know like what it's like to sacrifice for your team and like eat all these ganks and like die constantly and people are like, ah, you know, this guy's not that good. But it, it feels vindicating when you finally get your pop-off game and you know, you're able to crush the enemy top laner. Um, and I mean like crush him, he, he got destroyed. So, you know, I, I hope that Rune just doesn't, doesn't go too like, okay, I need to destroy my opponent because he is a really good teammate and that's what uh, everybody loves him for. But uh, it's good to see another side of him. So I'm really happy. But I'm alive. Hey, Trevor, yeah, uh, does this sound appetizing? Rice, vermicelli with pork, beef, or chicken, an imperial roll, dry noodle salad with grilled meats, uh, or steamed and fried tofu and veggies. Uh, what if we got tender greens?